In this video, we're going to be talking all about piano chords. This is part three of a 10 part series all about keeping music theory on the piano as simple as possible. So if you missed the first couple of videos, we'll link to those below. But let's go ahead and get on with part three chords on the piano. Simply put, a chord is just multiple notes played at the same time. So for example, that's a C major chord. Here is an F sharp minor chord. There is a B major chord. There's actually 27 different like categories of chords, but most of them you will never ever use. In fact, there are just two types of chords you're going to use a really, really large amount of the time. The first type of chord and definitely the most popular overall is called a major chord. Major chords, they, they sound happy and uplifting, and you can play any major chord on the piano by remembering this super simple formula for three. Growing up in piano lessons, I basically had to like memorize all the major chords. Well, now that you know this formula for three, you pretty much know all the major chords. Let me show you what I mean. If you wanna find any major chord on the entire piano, let's say a D major chord, you start on the letter that's in the name of the chord, all right, so we're gonna start in on D, and then you apply your formula for three. So you go to the right, the very next four notes, one, two, three, four, all right? It doesn't matter if they're black or they're white, they all do exactly the same thing. They're all spaced exactly the same apart. And then we go up the very next three notes, one, two, three. There's our D major chord. Let's try a G major chord. So we'll start on G, Go up the very next four notes, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three. G major chord. All right, let's go a little trickier here. Let's try a C sharp major chord. All right, we'll start at C sharp. So the right is sharp, and then we'll go up four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. That's a C sharp major chord. One thing I kind of didn't mention when I had the diagram up earlier is that those 12 notes that somebody really smart came up with a long time ago are all evenly spaced among each other. It doesn't matter if they're white or black or so on. And so going from a C to a C sharp is the exact same distance musically as going from a C sharp to a D or from going to say an E to an F. Those are all equally spaced apart. So next we have minor chords, which they sound a, a little more sad and, and moody, and their formula is just the reverse of major chords. It's three, four. So let me demonstrate a couple of uh, minor chords for you. Here's a C minor chord. All right, compare that to the major chord, C major chord. You can hear the difference in like the tone and the emotion in that. Here's a G major chord versus a G minor chord. Right? Hopefully you can kind of hear the difference in, in the overall emotion and tone. The formula, three, four, okay? Let's apply that. Let's say we wanna play an E minor chord. All right, we'll start at E, go to the right, the next three notes, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. It's the reverse of the formula. Let's try a G sharp minor chord. G sharp, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. There's our G sharp minor chord. These formulas always work across the entire piano. It blows my mind how experienced pianists struggle with chords because they feel like they kind of have to memorize each one. It's like, oh, I've got to play a, you know, a B flat minor chord. Like, what was that again? It's like, no, you, if you remember the formula, you know three, four, you know where B flat is, you know where the chord is. So now you should know how to play any major or minor chord on the entire piano, any one. The best way to go about learning how to play piano and music theory really is to start with learning the notes and then we learn chords. Then after chords, we learn chord progressions, which is multiple chords put together in a sequence, and then we get to songs. And I like to have my students playing songs as quickly as possible. So we've learned the notes, we've learned the chords now in this video, so next, the next video in this series is all about chord progressions and songs, specifically as it relates to music theory. So you can find that by clicking the video right here, or if you wanna watch all 10 parts of this series all in one video, Music Theory 101, then I've got that all for you in one video right over here. So once again, part four of the series, chord progressions and songs over here. And if you just wanna watch it all in one video, we've got that right over here for you.